Step number four is serve it. If you are watching this video, you probably have already visited step number one, which is salvation, step number two, which was baptism. And then the next three steps, step three, four, and five, you will participate in your entire life. Small groups are step three, which is one of the ways and mechanisms that we intentionally grow to be more like Christ. But serving others is step number four. And in serving others, we reflect the nature and the very person of our God and his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus was a servant leader. He served others. He gave sacrificially of his life. Ultimately, he gave his life, his, his blood sacrifice in order that we could be saved. But he lived life in such a way to honor God and to serve others. He has asked us to do the same thing in how we live life. Look at this verse. John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35 says this. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. In other words, people will know that we're Christians if we love one another. The way that we love one another is certainly an attitude. It's how we treat one another. But service is a part of that. Within the body of Christ, serving takes on many different forms. We each have spiritual gifts that the Holy Spirit enables us with and empowers us to be able to, to be the body of Christ. And we all should utilize our specific gift set. For some, it's mercy or compassion or uh, maybe the, uh, the, the ability to pray and God answer those prayers in a special way. For others, they have a gift of evangelism. Some just have a servant heart, but all of us are to serve. In fact, I would suggest to you that as a believer in Jesus Christ, if you want to grow as a disciple, one of the key aspects of that is getting to the place, maybe even beginning at the place, where rather than just being a consumer of the ministries of the church, that you are actually a contributor to the ministries of the church, that you help the kingdom of God be what God intended for it to be. Uh, we're not an organization where we constantly just seek to, to, to do good for all. Although we want to love people, it ultimately is about people knowing that we love Jesus Christ. And the way that they know that is by the things that we do. That's why one of the things that we say around here is love does. There are a multitude of ways that you can serve others in the name of Jesus Christ. It happens by how you treat your spouse, by how you treat your children, your siblings, your friends and even those that aren't your friends. It happens by how you live life at work and how you do life at church. And so in step number four, after learning about what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ, in step three, we seek and desire for you to begin to put that into action because love does. And the way that love does is by serving one another. And by this, all people will know that we are his disciples by how we love one another. Thank you for watching step four.